Greetings YouTube, this is Lordvon216 here again with another review and a bit of, a bit of sad news. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Ingelhofer Sweet Hot Pepper Mustard. Um, we were just at a local Kroger, found this, so I thought, why not try it out? It's got habanero, jalapeno, cayenne, and chipotle peppers in it. And it's mustard. But uh, yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I did take the... I did, however, take the seal out, but I have not tried it yet. I've kept it refrigerated, so I just pulled it out. So, let's try it. It's got a very, obviously, mustard smell to it. And you can smell a little bit of the peppers, but that's really pretty much it for the smell. Texture-wise, it looks pretty thick. I mean, you can see, like, the bits of peppers and stuff in there. But uh, as for taste, let's see. Oh, the cap has got, like, a little... I don't know what, the, what kind of cap you call it, so I guess I'd call it a line, a line cap to where you could just spread it across. So I'm just going to do a little dab on my finger. Not that much. Let's see how it is. Instantly, like a taste of horseradish. A little bit of spice. And now, it's, uh, now I'm getting like the overall mustard taste to it. But overall, it's not bad. It's actually very, very good. Aiden! And my son's looking out the window. Anyway. Texture-wise is what you would expect out of a, out of like a, a mustard, I guess. I don't know. I've never done a mustard review. I don't know what goes into mustard making. I don't know. I just saw, you know, it's hot. It comes with hot peppers, so I thought I'd try it. But, uh, yeah. Sorry for the very short review, but that's pretty much it. It's very good. I definitely su suggest if you like spices or, you know, different flavors or types of mustard, pick it up. But, uh, there are also two other things I wanted to bring up. The second one was, is I may not be able to do cigar reviews for maybe about a month because this fell apart on me. I was able to get it to go back together, but if it keeps doing that, I'm not going to be able to uh, do any reviews for a while. Because I won't use cheap $3 cutters. I've had before and they dull out on me way too quick. So that may or may not happen. Um, I might be getting a new one this weekend if I can afford it. But even then, it's going to take about two weeks to come in. So don't be ex if I am going to be doing any type of cigar review, I'm going to be using this one until it falls apart on me or until I get the replacement. And the third and last thing I want to talk about is a very sad day to the anime community. If you haven't heard, Miyazaki, the creator of such fantastic films as Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor Totoro, the original one, not the shit Disney one, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service, Ponyo, Secret World of Arietti, and so many, and a couple other classic films. He, unfortunately, is retiring. And his last major, uh, major, his last feature film is coming out sometime later this year. I, for one, am sad to hear this. I am glad to hear that he is retiring and not the worst case scenario of him passing so that way he could live out the rest of his life in peace. I am, I am however, disappointed to hear that he is retiring because we are, we are losing a great storyteller and a great animator. I grew up with his movies and I'm blessed that I'm able to share them with my son, especially my neighbor Totoro. I still, every time I pop that movie in, I feel like a child. I, there's just something magical about that movie that I absolutely love. And it's a shame to see, it's a shame to see him go. It really is. But, you know, everybody's, everybody's got to stop doing something sometime or another. But uh, anyway, I don't think you'll ever see this, Miyaz uh, Mr. Miyazaki, but thank you for the wonderful childhood. And thank you for being able to let me let, show my son your wonderful movies and, your one, and share your wonderful stories. Which, by the way, I just want to clarify, he cannot reach that fan. We have it set far enough back. You can't tell by the video, but it's on top of a dog's cage and it's actually way back. He can't reach it. <laughs> anyway, back to my original point. I don't know if you're gonna, I don't know if you will ever see this Miyaz uh, Mr. Miyazaki, but thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the wonderful work you've done. Thank you for all the wonderful stories, all the wonderful images. It, it will stay with my heart forever. And it, this is something I'm going to pass down to my children. And I hope that my children will pass down to their children. 
and through this you are going to be immortalized. But I understand, you know, you need to retire, you need to take time for yourself. So from the bottom of my heart, again, I say thank you, God bless you, sir. And this is all for today. So this is Lord Vaughn 216 signing out, and I'll see you all.